Hey guys, this is Keaton. Uh, wait, sorry, wrong intro. Hey guys, Keaton here with TechSmart, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should upgrade to the brand new iPhone 6. So for starters here, this is not going to be a review. This is just simply my opinions on if I think it's right for some users to upgrade and some users to hold off. We'll be diving into the categories, some of the specifications that are kind of compelling. So without further delay, let's go ahead and hop on in. So Apple released two phones, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 is a 4.7 inch display and has a larger battery. A lot of minor tweaks and it's 6.9 millimeters thick or thin depending on how you look at things whether it's half full or half empty in terms of the glass of water or whatever liquid and it comes in at $199 on a two-year contract and is available in three colors white silver space gray and gold now on the other side of the coin here we have the iPhone 6 plus it is plus for plus sized it is insane it's 5.5 inches has a larger battery, has some camera upgrades that you don't see on the iPhone 6 really, and that includes optical image stabilization, and starts at $299 for a 16 gigabyte model uh, on a two year contract, and it comes in again, three colors, white, silver, space gray, and gold. It's 5.5 inches, it's massive, and it's plus sized. It's, it's really that big. So let's dive into a few different scenarios. If you've been an Apple person in the past, and currently own an iPhone 4S or older, it's definitely time to upgrade. If you're looking for an iPhone, it's most definitely time to upgrade. And the 5S, the 6, or the 6 Plus are fantastic options. The 5S is still a great phone. It's $99 on a two-year contract and available in the same three colors. It might not have some of the cooler tweaks that you would see with the 6 or 6 Plus, but it's still an amazing phone. And for 99 bucks, I don't really see how you can go wrong if you want to stay in the Apple ecosystem. But if you want to splurge a little bit, you know, kind of get with the times, no offense if you're really enjoying your 4S or anything older than that, which is kind of, it deserves an applause because if you can really bear a 4S or older at this point in just time with all the new upgrades, bells and whistles and stuff, you get a thumbs up, a clap, and a high five. It is intense. So obviously the iPhone 6 is enticing, comes in at $199 on a two-year contract in three colors. The 16 gigabyte capacity is what you're gonna get for that price. And if you wanna splurge a little bit more, get a 5.5 inch display over the 4.7 inch display, a larger battery, optical image stabilization, and a few other tweaks. $299 for a 16 gigabyte model on a two-year contract is your best bet, and it comes in three colors. So in all honesty here, if you're rocking a phone that is an iPhone 4S or older and wanna stay in the Apple ecosystem, check out the 5S, the 6, or the 6 Plus. So our next scenario here also stays within the Apple ecosystem, and that is if you own an iPhone 5 or a 5C. Now keep in mind here, and with a few minor spec changes, the iPhone 5C and iPhone 5 are pretty much the same, and I look at it like this. The S models are meant for the S people, and the number models are meant for the number people, meaning you're gonna get your next number model with the iPhone 7. You're gonna get the next S model with the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. Yeah, that, that just sounds weird. So if you're looking to upgrade and like the four inch display, then I'd stick with just going with the 5S. It's a great phone, it's very fast, and you're definitely gonna notice some speed increases just in that standpoint alone. Now, if you wanna live on the wild side, wanna get your upgrade that you definitely deserve and can use your upgrade, then check out the six or the six plus. Now, as I stated before, the six plus at the 5.5 inch display has a larger battery than the current 5S. Uh, did I mention it's 5.5 inches? Yeah. That, I'll never be able to wrap my head around that. It has a larger battery, optical image stabilization, but you are paying $100 more for 16 gigabyte capacity on any carrier you really want, at least within the United States. Now, if you don't really wanna pay an extra $100, are really happy with the four inch display, but kinda of wanna live a little bit on the wild side and just kind of upgrade and treat yourself because it's your upgrade, this is your number model, and you just kinda of wanna get with the times. The iPhone 6 is great, it has a 4.7 inch display, I think it's kind of perfect just for all consumers because you are getting a bigger display, but you're not going too big like you would see with the iPhone 6 Plus. It has a better battery life and just a lot of other upgrades that I feel are worth it over the 5S. But again, if you like the four inch display that you would find on the iPhone 5 or 5C, then definitely check out the 5S. And lastly here, these are for the people that don't own an iPhone just yet. So I get asked this question next to the should I upgrade question quite a bit, and it's kind of funny because you know that's what we're doing the video on. But if you want a phone that is from this year, came out within the last you know few months at best, such as the HTC One M8, whether that's Windows or just the Android edition, the Samsung Galaxy S5, 
the LG G3, the OnePlus One, the Moto X Plus One, or the new Moto X or the Moto X Second Gen, whatever you want to call it. I would say if you're happy with Android and don't really want to look for a way to just join the iOS club, although it is very enticing now with what they've done, then hold off. I know it's kind of a slippery slope here because some of you guys really are passionate about one platform, whether that's iOS or Android, and that's great. I love both platforms equally, and I've been using my Moto 360 that likes to say, okay, Google, ah, it works. So, I mean, it's really up in there. If you're looking to join the Apple Club and the big screen was just everything you wanted, and now that they've kind of adapted to that, if that's really your only just motivation to switch to iPhone and iOS, then definitely go for it if you have the money. But if you have an Android phone, such as the S5 or any of the others that I mentioned, those are definitely pounding it in specifications, and you're going to be just fine until the S6 or other Android phones roll on out. So I'll wrap it up for you guys here. You should definitely upgrade if you have a 5C, a 5, a 4S or older, or you have an Android phone and you're just looking for something new, such as a bigger screen and just checking out what iOS has to offer. I'd recommend upgrading there. Now, if you have a 5S and just want to upgrade purely for the screen size, yeah, go ahead and do it. But if you're just looking to upgrade just to upgrade, I'd definitely say holding off because the 5S is still a great phone. And I know the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6S Plus, that's never going to get like settled within me. I'd say just wait for that model because you have a phone that definitely flies and it's four inches and I think that's perfectly fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video where we took a look at is it worth upgrading to the latest and greatest from Apple. Now I know it's kind of a slippery slope and I really wouldn't buy anything unless you've held one in the past or you have just are really confident in Apple and think the product's going to be good and you'll go stand in line or pre-order whatever. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what you guys think, what devices you own, if you're going to upgrade or what device you currently own and why you're not going to upgrade. I'd love to know and I'm kind of curious to see what kind of smartphones you guys own right now. Also while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps the channel out a bunch and it lets me know that you guys want more Apple stuff coming and just all the other manufacturers and Android and Windows and WebOS and Blackberry because I think one of those is a thing, I'm not too sure. And finally go ahead and subscribe to the channel to be notified when a brand new video comes out. As I've been saying, next weekend, it's gonna get real. I have so much in store for you guys, so many awesome videos that we've just been planning. It's gonna get real, it's a free thing to do, so you just hit subscribe, you're all set to go, um, and you'll be notified when a brand new video does come out. So thank you guys once again, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.